Hi, I'm James from Spy Camera CCTV. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to wire up your wireless farming camera kit and your internet router. Okay, so laid out in front of me, we have all the bits of the kit that you would get with one of our single camera farming packs. Now, this setup could also be used if you were using multiple wireless cameras, um, but the key thing to remember here, this is camera to wireless antenna, and then wireless antenna into router or into recorder. But for this instance, we're gonna use a router. So we're gonna show you how to wire all that up. So first of all, we're gonna look at the camera side of the setup. Now it does look like a lot of wires and there's a lot of bits here, but actually it's not that complicated when you actually sort of lay it out. Um, the first thing you're gonna do is look at the antenna. So the antenna is one of the ingenious antennas that you can see here. So on the back of the antenna, you can see there's a little panel that clips off. Now, uh, under this antenna, you can see there are two LAN ports. Now, uh, on the back of the antenna, you've got a little black label that has some labels. Um, you'll see that there is one labeled PoE. Now, this is the power input for the antenna. Um, I'm highlighting this because it's really important that you get the cable in the right connection. What we have is a uh, another part of the Ingenius, and this comes in the box with the Ingenius, is a PoE injector. Um, the way this works is pretty simple. It plugs into a power socket, again, comes with the power cable. Uh, you plug it into power. Um, again, on the injector, um, you'll see there is a label that says PoE. Um, that's really important to remember. The PoE is going to go from here into the PoE input on the antenna. So. With your kit, you would have received some network cable. Um, this is just standard Cat6 or Cat5 network cable, um, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, what you're going to do is plug it into the PoE output of the injector to the PoE. Oops, I don't drop the cable on the floor. To the PoE input on the Ingenius. So you can see now what we've got is injector. Now this obviously would be plugged into power. You've got injector long cable and then PoE input on the Ingenius. So again, just make sure you've got that the right way around. So PoE to PoE. At the other side of the injector, you will have another network cable. Here's one I made earlier. Um, this other cable is going to be the cable that's going to run to your camera. So um, again, please excuse the mess of how we've got this laid out. In a real scenario, you do some cable tidying. Um, the LAN connector, so again, you're on the injector, you see the other network connection is called LAN. So you're gonna have a cable plugged into there, and again, this is the same Cat5, Cat6 network cable. Um, this is gonna go into the network input feed, or output feed, or whatever you would call it, on the camera. Um, so again, simple um, RJ45 connection. Just to recap what we've got there, you've got panel antenna with the PoE input, You've then got the PoE output on the uh, injector. You've then got the LAN connection on the injector, and this will connect like this. Now I've done this in a black and a white cable just so I can highlight it a little easier for you. Um, it is a bit of a mess, but as you can see, you've got the white cable running from PoE into the Ingenious, and then you've got the LAN connection running into the camera. Now the final part of this to remember is of course that the camera still has its own power supply. So this does need to be plugged into mains power as well. So when you're doing this installation, obviously think about where your power sources are um, and whether you're gonna need extension cables. Um, again, just make sure that that will not work if this isn't plugged in, so that's really important. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you've got uh, camera connected to injector, injector connected to Ingenious, job done. Uh, it is literally that straightforward. So now that we've wired up the camera side of the Ingenious, we're now gonna wire up the router side. So again, this setup is assuming that you're connecting the single camera into your internet router. So in this case, we've got a, a BT Home Hub over here. Um, the setup is basically the same as the camera. So what we have is the uh, Ingenious injector again, um, obviously the Ingenious, Ingenious antenna itself. You've got the PoE input on the uh, back of the Ingenious. That's obviously the most important bit, as we said in the camera guide. Once that's connected, um, you're gonna be connecting this cable into the PoE output part of the power supply. Um, so again, exactly the same as the camera. This bit, as you can see, if you go back in the video, the white cable is going from the PoE input on the Ingenious to the PoE output on the injector. And again, the injector is plugged into power. Now, the other part of this is, of course, the 
land connection from the uh, injector. So exactly the same as the camera. Um, so instead of connecting to the camera, we're going to connect into an internet router. So in this case, if we look on the back of the BT Home Hub, um, you will see on the back of the Home Hub, you have uh, three, uh, sorry, four yellow connections that are the LAN connections. So what you're going to be doing is connecting one of these connections, uh, it doesn't matter which one you plug it into, um, in like that. So again, what we've got is router via the black cable into the LAN connection on the uh, PoE injector. Then we've got PoE output going into the PoE input on the Ingenius, uh, and that's done by the white cable. We would highly recommend to do all this out on a kitchen table or on the living room floor before trying to mount it all in uh, realistic positions. Um, you will find it a lot easier to wire everything together when it's out on a table than you would if, say, you're walking between the barn and the farmhouse all the time trying to get it working. We strongly advise that you get it all set up like this within a kitchen environment or the living room floor um, to make sure everything's working okay and make sure you understand where all the cables go to. Thanks for watching this video. Please remember you can also find all the information in this video on our help site at spycameracctv.com forward slash help.